Member of Parliament for Elembele, Emmanuel Amakofibwa, has called on um, President Akufado, the Police and the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice to intervene and investigate what he terms Adamu's resources, limited minds, incessant use of security personnel to brutalize the people of Teleko Bokazo and Aria in the operations. Now, Mr. Amar Kofibwa condemned the invasion of the Isiama District Divisional Police Headquarters by town folks following the shooting to death of a resident by security personnel at Nkrofu on April 1st. He, however, said the bigger problem is the misuse of security personnel by Adamus Resources Mines, which has so far resulted in about four deaths. City News' Akwesi Jainim has the details. Emmanuel Amakofibua, being the representative of the people of Elembele in Parliament, after hearing the shooting to death and injuring of some of his constituents by security personnel in front of the Nkrofu Magistrate Court, visited the family house at Teleko Bukazo. The MP was then met with cries for help from the wife and mother of Andrew Donko, the deceased. <laughs> For the traumatized brother of the slain 33-year-old Andrew Donko, justice is all the family demands from the police and the state. But what I demand now, what I demand now is justice because it's clear evidence and the, the, uh, their witnesses, uh, they saw, said, my brother was not even aware the crowd was. He was sitting somewhere making a score and the crowd were not even uh, making any, right? They were just there to support their people. So we demand justice. We demand justice. We demand justice. The government, we, we want to know the military person that fired the shot. He should explain why he fired the shot. Because somebody who was on a call, he was not armed. He didn't attack. Why all this? Emmanuel Amakofibua, who then called on the chief of Teleko Bokazo to confer with him on resolving the matter, told City News the bigger problem in the area is the misuse of security personnel by Adamus Resources Mines, which has so far resulted in about four deaths and must be investigated by Shraj and the police. And I apologize on behalf of the people of uh, Telecom Kazo, especially the many people who went to the police station uh, to vandalize the station and cause damage. Uh, that's very regrettable. We have serious problems in this area, but the, we don't have a fight with the police. In fact, this is about the fourth death of a young person in connection with Adamu's mining. And the person who shot, on those two occasions who shot these young people, are not police officers. It is the military attached to the Adabu's mines. So the, 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 the thought that young people will go and attack a police station is regrettable. And I think that the chief has uh, stated it. But let me be very clear. The people of 
Tony Kubokazo, Anya, Salma, and all of the people in this area, they live here for over 300 years. We are farming communities with lands, we grow vegetables, we grow cassava. All of a sudden, one morning, we have a company here who says government of Ghana has given all those lands to him. And since that time to now, we've not had any peace. You are mining on concessions. And even when you have done with that particular area, after 10 years, you refuse to even allow the community to engage in legal mining activity for their daily survival after destroying their farms. Is this fair? And then we will have state soldiers to protect mining companies against its own citizens, shooting at them. That's the anger. And I, I think that I'm calling on President Akufuado. And I'm calling on Chirac and the police service. The real issue has to do with the treatment of the people in these areas by the mining company. The MP's position was also supported by the chief. I've been here more than 10 years. You know what I mean? I should have said, I'm going to say, hey, 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 now they buy. And so, I should have said, I'm going to say, 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 I'm I'm saying, near my attention, I'm going to say, we are in the last one of mine. Nankas will be able to get the money for this. Here we are, Frank of Babu. We tell my boss, I'm going to get the money. 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 Nasa mofran, ibu bapa dia efek betia. Maka wuna di nak kama. Timisre. Namu sana nama tia. Mai masuk. Jadi nama tia mesa. Maku ada mesa. Utu wal uti dia hukum kau naya masuk. Nanti, ya kau ya kau ni abu kubu ya bana nasu. Timisre, aku mohon. Namu tu mintra mikro mesa. Jadi okey, elem bela ha. Efan ye ye aku mu main mu hai. Ufi eh mikrofon mikrofon. Jadi aku mikrofon akra. Eh Salma. Or what are they? Anya, or what are they? Is he a man who has a hidden marker? A poor man is he a man? Misha. Is he a demon? Do you know that we can't even pay him for some of the problems we are having? Meanwhile, the youth of Telekubukazo and its environs are demanding for a commission of inquiry into the matter. We are calling on the president of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Dodan Kwakufado, to as a matter of urgency and with immediate effect, we are appealing to him to set up a commission of inquiry. I repeat, a commission of inquiry. This is beyond the Ghana Police Service. I repeat, this is beyond the Ghana Police Service. We are asking of him to set up a commission of inquiry. First one to Article 278 of the 1992 Constitution. President, we are invoking the 1992 Constitution. If you believe in it, work on that. To set up, set up a commission of inquiry to investigate the killing of Andrew Zonko, the damages at the TMO Police Station, and the death of Michael Derry and all other brutalities and disputes between the company and communities surrounding the company so that these communities and the company can exist in a peaceful manner or coexist in a peaceful manner.